G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a little bit of a comparison between the original Aperture Fresnel and the Fresnel 2X. First thing you'll notice is obviously there's a size difference. There's also a weight difference between them as well. So the original Fresnel didn't come with any case. And it's fairly basic construction. Uh, it's a 12 to 42 degree spot flood ratio. The way you actually change between flood and spot was just by this little dial on the side here. Loosen that off and then you can just push and pull it back and forth. Sometimes it got a little bit stuck, it wasn't quite smooth. So that was a little bit of an issue. And the other issue was these holes on the side, which were obviously for venting so that the heat didn't build up so much, but they actually caused the light to spill around inside and then spill out the sides and basically caused some light patterns to fall on the edges of the main light pattern from the center of the Fresnel. So let's have a look at the 2X. Aperture kindly sent this out to me to check out and do a bit of a test with. So the second thing you'll notice apart from the weight difference is that it comes supplied with this great little case with a carry handle. It's very nice. Let's pop that box down there. So let's open it up and have a look. So it's a bit of a beast in comparison to the original one. Bigger front diameter. The other big difference between the two is whereas the original didn't have any rear element, the 2X does. So that helps focus that light coming from the 120D or 300D through the back and into the main focusable front element there as well. The other obvious difference is the way that the 2X focuses and that is just by rotating this and expanding the unit it's quite a smooth action, really quite easy to operate between flood and spot. So I'll just pop it onto my 120D here. So we can just have a look at that action. So the easiest way to do it is just with two hands and just rotate as such. And it's really quite simple. Okay, so I want to do a little bit of a comparison to visually just see what the difference between the spot and flood settings are between the two units, but also just to check the brightness output. So I've got my 120D here, starting with the original Fresnel, and I'm gonna just run that at 50%, otherwise it's just a little bit too bright for the video here. And starting with the flood setting on the original Aperture Fresnel, I'm gonna measure with my trusty old metal ruler and my Siconic light meter. Just what sort of output we get at one meter. So I'm on 100 ISO and I'm getting 1 of a second at f4.8 at 100 ISO. So I'm just gonna change that now to its spot setting. So you can see that getting much narrower on the background. Same thing right in the center of the Fresnel and at one meter, 125th of a second at f4.8. So that has jumped up by one stop just by focusing in. So now I'm just gonna switch over to the 2X. And again, starting with the flood setting. Aperture 120D is still at 50% power. Uh, 1 90th of a second at 4.8. So that is a little bit brighter at the flood setting compared to the original Fresnel. Let's focus it in. This is much, much easier to use compared to the original. And let's try that again. 
zoomed right in. Okay, I'm trying to keep it as centered as possible because any slight little movement left or right is gonna have an impact on the output. And that is quite a big difference. I'm now getting 60 of a second at f9.5, whereas before we were getting f4.8 on the original Fresnel. So that little rear element in the back of the unit is actually helping focus that light and really making it quite a lot brighter. So if you're looking for maximum output out of your 120D, the 2X for now is a really good option. And of course, you don't have to use it as a bare light. You can um, throw it through some diffusion and soften it right down, and that's gonna give you maximum output from your 120D. All right, so that's enough playing around with all that technical measurements and all that sort of stuff. I've got the lovely ginger coming in right now, so let's do some shots and actually see how this unit performs. Okay, pretty well set up and ready to go. Ginger's getting changed at the moment, so I'm just setting up these lights. First of all, obviously, we've got the 120D with the Fresnel 2X. That's gonna be our main light. I'm gonna focus that in just a little bit, not uh, full spot, because I do wanna get a little bit of light falling down Ginger's body, but mostly it's gonna be concentrated on her face. Um, another sort of light we've got in the back here is a lamp that I've bought off eBay, Hollywood style vintage looking lamp and I've just popped a couple of little aperture M9s in there to act as a practical light. This light is going to be featured in the shot. And then as our background light, I've got another aperture light. I uh, can't remember the model number, it's quite old now so it's been replaced a couple of times now I think. I'll pop the um, description of that just in the bottom of the video um, of the current model. So the theme for this uh, portrait is going to be kind of like 1920s to 1930s safari Hollywood style. Um, so Ginger's got some gorgeous leopard print pants and a gorgeous kind of lace top that's gonna tie in nicely with the theme. Colors are gonna work in well with the background and uh, the Hollywood style lighting that we achieved from this Fresnel is gonna work really, really well. So we'll get Ginger on set, we'll make a start and I'll show you some finished images at the end. All right, let me just adjust that main light again. Just go back a tiny bit now, a bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, looking good. Perfect. Yeah, hold that. So I'm shooting with the Fuji X-H1 as I normally do with the 56mm 1.2. Current settings, um, I'm on 640 ISO, 2.8, 125 of a second. And because I'm working with uh, quite low powered lights in the background here, I've really had to pull the power down on uh, the 120D, so it's currently only on 10%. So I'm gonna shoot some horizontals, which I envisage will end up as squares because they're gonna uh, miss the edge of the background a little bit. But that looks really beautiful. Should I just get you to go back just a little bit more? Thanks, Ginger. Touch more. Yep, just there. Just want you to a little bit closer to that lamp in the background there. And then I'll bring this light around a little bit more front on. Try that. Pretty good, eh? I 
think the light is kind of just hitting in the middle of your chest here. So I'm just going to raise it up a little bit okay, cool. just so it's more on your face. Yeah. But that background looks gorgeous. It does. All right. Yeah, that looks good. Just ever so slightly this way. Yep. Cool. The only thing I'm not super happy with now is because I have brought you back a little bit, you're casting a bit of shadow onto the lamp. So just try coming forward again. A bit more. Yep, just there. Should be a bit better. Yep, yeah, cool. Super strong, love it. That's awesome, that's such a strong look. <laughs> that's sweet. I'm just gonna take this across to the side again, which means you're really gonna kinda of have to keep your face pointed in this direction, otherwise we get that sh no shadow, which we don't want. Yeah, that's looking much better. Just try actually facing your body this way again this time. Yep. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Don't fall over now. That's good. Can you ever so slightly tilt your head that way? Yeah, that's good. Awesome. And just bend that elbow a little bit, but not too much. So just slide your hand up. Yep, there, that's perfect. Now you can take a little step back that way. Yep, that's it. Excellent. Yeah. I reckon we've nailed those. Yay! All right, there you go. That's um, using the Aperture 120D with the Fresnel 2X. Thanks for watching. Until next time, ciao for now.